In this video, you will see how to connect a Skahoy panel to vMix. vMix is a popular video switching application for Windows. And by adding a Skahoy controller, you get a truly professional, tactile workflow. Our panels are easy to use. There's no need to set up shortcuts or activators. Straight out of the box, you get a deep integration with lots of features. We read all vMix input names, handle mixers, buses, audio, stingers, and more. And if you've set up shortcuts in your vMix project, we automatically display both names, colors, and icons. Today, I use an Airfly Pro, but we make panels in many sizes, and you can use any Blue Pill product. Typical choices are found in the live switching category on the Skahoy website. It could even be a mega panel, where you design your own surface by linking multiple modules. Also note, we have two product platforms, Bluepill and Unisketch. While we do have vMix integrations for both platforms, this guide will only focus on the Bluepill version. Bluepill is newer and easier to set up. It works with the latest vMix and has more commands available. Current users of Unisketch panels should know that it's fairly easy to upgrade to Bluepill. Please contact Skahoy support for more info on this. Okay, let's get going. We need to look at three things. Cabling, setting up the PC, and setting up the panel. First up is the cable connection. I've connected the Skahoy panel and the vMix PC to an Ethernet switch. The switch has power over Ethernet, so it also powers the panel. I also have internet connection. This is needed during setup for downloading the vMix device core to the panel. After setting up, you no longer need internet connection. Now, the panel on computer must be in the same network range. The panel can use DHCP or static IP address, but I mostly use a static address not having to rely on a DHCP server. The PC must have a static IP address. This is used by the panel to find the PC on the network. Next, we handle the settings on the computer. I'm using Windows 11, but Windows 10 will be fairly similar to this. First, we need to set a static IP address. The panel needs this in order to find the computer on the network. It's done in Settings, Network and Internet, Ethernet, and Edit IPv4. Set to Manual and enter an address. We'll use 192.168.10.100, but you can of course use any other address as long as the computer and panel are in the same subnet range. We should also check that Windows Defender Firewall is not blocking the connection. This is done in Privacy and Security, Windows Security. We do suggest having the firewall turned on with normal settings. Just check that it or other firewalls in your network are not blocking the connection. All right, now let's look at vMix. In version 25, new settings were introduced to limit network access. So we need to open vMix and go to Settings and Web Controller. Here, you must enable the TCP API. Without this, the controller cannot access vMix. You can also enable the two restrict access to LAN only for added security. I'll let you decide this. Please note, do not change the port settings in either vMix or in the Skahoy setup. Port 8088 is the correct port to use in the vMix settings. Click OK, and that's it. We leave vMix running, but minimize the window. Now we only need to set up the Skahoy controller. To do this, we open a web browser and go to the IP address of the panel. 
Here we see Reactor, the configuration manager for Bluepill. We start by setting a static IP address, just like we did on the PC. This is done on the settings page. Here we disable DHCP and enter our own IP address. In this guide, we'll use 192.168.10.99, but you can use another address as long as the panel and the computer are in the same subnet range. OK, let's refresh the web page with the new IP address. To control a device, it must be added to the project. So we click Add Device and Add Manually. Here we filter the list by entering vMix and select vMix27. In the settings window, we enter the static IP address of the PC, the one we set just before, and click Save. The device core is downloaded and vMix shows connected. Please note, Skyhoy panels can control many different devices, such as Atom, Kairos, TriCaster, vMix, and more. You can toggle between devices or even control them simultaneously. Please see the entire list of compatible devices at devices.skyhoy.com. OK, we have added vMix. Now we only need to assign the commands to the buttons on the panel. This is called the configuration, and we have pre made default configurations for multiple video switches. So we simply select vMix Airfly Pro. You see that the panel immediately updates and displays the vMix input names and a wealth of features. Let's try it out. We have Preview, Programs, Transition, Stinger, Shortcuts, and much more. It's all working like a charm. This could easily be the end of this video. It all works great. But I want to give you a little bonus info. As mentioned, Skyhoy panels can control multiple devices, even at the same time. So I'll add control of a PTC camera and a video router that allows me to have more inputs to choose from. First, I add the devices to the project by clicking Add Device. Then I select the Canon CRN100 camera and select the Blackmagic Video Hub. The two devices are now connected and ready to be controlled. In the camera selector, I click Add and select the Canon camera. OK, let's have a look. On the panel, I open the camera control section. Select the Canon, and I now have full control of movement, presets, and many other parameters. And notice, I could have many more cameras added next to it. Great, let's do the same for the Video Hub. In the Quick class, I click Add and select the Video Hub. That's it. Now I can access it on the six topmost buttons and do routing with ease. And remember, you can control many different types of extra devices this way. All right, we're done. Now you know how to connect a Skyhoy panel to vMix. And you have seen how this transforms vMix into a professional tactile workflow. You even saw how to add other types of devices into the mix for even more control. Please have a look at our other videos on reactor setup and configuration. You'll find links to these in the description. Thank you for watching.